First, position the patient in the beach chair position. Then, taking care that the head is well padded and that the cervical spine is in neutral alignment. Ensure that the operative shoulder is accessible circumferentially. Perform a routine prep and drape. Our preference is to apply an occlusive adherent iodinated drape. We use an articulated arm holder for intraoperative repositioning of the arm. The surgeon should first mark the acromion, clavicle, coracoid, posterior portal, and lateral portal on the skin. The posterior portal is located two centimeters distal and one centimeter medial to the posterior lateral of the acromion. Although the distances are variable depending on the patient's size, the lateral portal is located two centimeters lateral to the lateral acromial edge at the midpoint between the anterior lateral and posterior lateral acromial corners. The portal should force first be anesthetized with a long acting local anesthetic. A diagnostic glenerol humeral arthroscopy is then performed prior to the subacromial decompression and it is not shown here. At the completion of the glenerol humeral diagnostic arthroscopy, the arthroscope is withdrawn and the blunt trocar is reinserted. The sleeve and trocar is then withdrawn to the plane between the infraspinatus and the posterior deltoid. Because the fibers of the infraspinatus and the deltoid are oriented orthogonally, this plane can be identified by free movement with subtle superior inferior movements at the tip of the trocar. The trocar is then advanced in this plane, aiming towards the anterior lateral corner of the acromion and towards the coracoacromial ligament. The surgeon can then make medial to lateral movements with the tip of the trocar to confirm that the arthroscope is in the subacromial space and not the glenohumeral joint, although these should be limited as they can stir up bleeding.